Welcome back, everyone. This is Jaronitis bringing you Feed the Beast 1.6, episode 74. It has been exactly 12 seconds. 13, 14, 17. Ah, I lost track. It's been a very short time since we last were here. So, here we go again. Now, at this point, we have already gotten... The fact that we got to skip a couple generations of tree breeding is kind of nice. Uh, but again, I showed you guys how to do... No, I didn't. I said I was going to show you guys how to do the first couple steps, and then I didn't do it. Alright, so let's do that right now before I forget again. You guys still... Nope, you're dead. Bring you over. You can breed. You're still alive. You're still alive, and you're dead. Here, you can have some more. Alrighty. So, now, I just showed you guys that apple oak plus uh, silver lime equals hill cherry. But silver lime is not necessarily something you're going to have found or going to find lying around. So I'm going to real quick show you guys how to get to that point. Okay, since this is a double episode, I, you know, I cut it in between because I don't want to make it a whole hour long episode. But since this is essentially a double episode, we're just going to go along with this and continue as if we hadn't stopped. <sighs> yeah, what I said. Alright, so let's toss this in here and let's toss this in here. Now, we're going to go as if, I'm going to explain really quickly how you would start off if you wanted to start with tree breeding just straight up, okay? Uh, you know, as if you had nothing. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go out into the world, and you want to find an oak tree. I know they're impossible to find. You, they're, they're never anywhere. Um, anyway, you need a normal oak sapling, and as I showed you before, you can take a normal, a oak, yeah, a normal oak sapling and you can treeize it and it becomes an apple oak sapling. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find an oak tree and do that. The second thing you want to do is you want to find a birch tree. Okay, a birch tree, when analyzed, turns the birch into a silver birch. Okay, and that's the other thing you want to do. So when you plant the apple oak and the silver birch together, you wind up getting a silver birch. Okay, that are well. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, silver lime. I can't speak straight, but that's okay. You guys love it, apparently. Um, <laughs> well, what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about this, except we're not because I just forgot and ran off into nowhere for no reason for a long time. All right, so anyway, um, you, first thing you want to do, like I said, is get the simple birch sapling, get the simple oak sapling, treeize both of them. That way you have the silver birch and the apple oak. Then you breed those together and you get the silver lime. Then you do the silver lime plus the apple oak, and you wind up with the hill cherry, and you wind up right where I am right now. So I didn't actually skip all that much, although I did skip, so I went back and showed you. Alrighty, so now we should be able to go back in here while these guys do their thing and get some more... Seriously? Wow, it has mutation already? Good God, I love these skulking bees. Skulking bees and their fast pollination, that is awesome. Cannot argue that at all. Okay. Oh, we got the Lapis Species Serum. Awesome. All right. Well, why am I leaving those in there? All right. Let's cook these others. All righty. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toss the Lapis Species Serum in here because I want to use it immediately. There's the Charm Species Serum, and here is the Cultivated Bee. So now we are going to go ahead and turn this Cultivated into a Purebred Charmed so that we can then get some enchanted bees. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some serum vials and toss over here. Get in there. Although I don't really need you anymore because I've got the lapis serum. Let me make sure that there's nothing else on these lapis bees that I want to have. None. 2 by 2 Rock. Slow, slow, short. Junk. Oh, wow. Slowest, slowest. Yuck. Okay, so I can tell when we do this next part, we're going to want to change these, which means we don't actually want those. Well, actually, well, here. Just once real quick, just kill her off real quick. What we don't want to do is we don't want to run these Lapis Bees with the shortest life and the slowest production. We're going to go ahead and immediately change them before we put them into uh, full production. I don't technically have to, but I want to. Well, well, yeah, they require rocks, too. Hmm. I guess, technically speaking, we don't have to do that. All right, either way, 
So let's take a look at this princess just to be safe that she's the same. Short, short, slowest, 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 rocks, and so on. So, yeah. I mean, I, they can run anywhere. Temperature tolerance and humidity tolerance is both plus two. So they can run anywhere I want to run them. I guess for now, let's just... Hmm. Cultivated? Nah. Lapis. Go, my lapis queen. Make me some lapis combs. All right, so we're going to put that lapis into production. So now that we have that, we want to... Why do I have the... Cult oh, that's right, because we're going to do this. Okay, instead of using the lapis serum, since I have the extra lapis drones, I'm going to go ahead and put the cultivated queen in here. And no, I'm not going to do it like that, because that would be stupid. I'm going to put them in here. In here, it will kill them, but not uh, do other things that we be bad. Why will it not repair these? It repairs the other magic bees frames. All right, let's see if I'm doing something wrong here. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm a dummy. All right, nope, nope, I don't have those with me. All right, we're gonna run over here real quick. I never linked the, uh, I never linked the power source to where I want it to flow to. So I need the crystal wrench. And now I should be able to link the light nexus to the arcane reconstructors. And then we'll actually be able to do something. So I might actually be able to do, I, I didn't even realize I was being that stupid. Yep. I was being that stupid. Wow, that's kind of special. All right, is it still going to feed both of those? Yep, sure is. Excellent. So let's put this back in here. That is repairing actually rather nicely. I like that. And uh, I can add some focuses to this to make it work faster. I will do that at a later time just because for now... Aren't those cool? It actually shows you the item inside there getting repaired. That's awesome. Okay, so they can go ahead and do their thing some other time when you guys aren't watching because you really don't need to see this. All right, so now that we've got that part taken care of, let's toss these bees in here. And mysterious drone. Is that a solid mysterious drone? Did I? I did. When did I do that? Probably last episode. That's okay. All right, so now we have a mysterious princess who is mysterious, mysterious. Excellent. So now we can put just the straight up mysterious, mysterious. Oh, that one's occupied currently. Hmm. How odd. Okay, so we have the mysterious princess, and then we have an eldritch mysterious drone, mysterious, mysterious drone. Mysterious Eldritch Drone, and a Mysterious Mysterious Drone. All right, while we're waiting for that other to do, let's toss this in here. Temp Tolerance, Eldritch Species, Shortest Lifespan, Default Territory. Nope. All right, so let's toss in. We're only going to need one of the pure drones. So let's compare the two real quick and see which one I want to keep and which one I want to get rid of. All right, so... This one is shortest and slowest, and this one is shorter and slower. So the one that's currently in there is the junkier one. So we're going to toss it in to be analyzed and destroyed. And the other one can come back over here. And now that we have a pure mysterious and a pure mysterious, we can go ahead and have them doing their thing. All right, so that got us our mysterious we are getting our charmed. We should probably go check on that real quick. I'm running back and forth a lot this episode. I hope you guys don't mind. I was trying to make this a little bit more interesting. All right, so now we have charmed and charmed. So now we can put the charmed and charmed in here and let them do their thing. Now, these should not have any uh, strange effects on them because we're going with pure bread. 
Mm, actually, I don't like the way this is going to work out. I need to have some more automated stuff to get these guys. F mm, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm not really worried about what they're making. They're going to be making something that I already have before. So the fact is I have a pure mysterious. So I can just go ahead and continue on until I get to the next one that I want. Yes, yes, okay. So mysterious plus esoteric is arcane. Uh-oh. Did I get... Oh, no, I didn't, did I? That's right. We blew right past Esoteric. I don't think we got any Esoteric bees. Well, isn't that ironic? I now need a bee that I didn't get any of because it skipped past it. That's fun. All right, so now that we have that part done, gosh, what am I going to do now? Um, okay, so Mysterious, you can go in there. Let's take... Let's look and make sure these are all purebred Mysterious. Okay, so let's take the two two of the mysterious drones over here and analyze them. And with any luck, we will go ahead and get a mysterious bee species serum. In the meantime, let's take the one mysterious princess and one mysterious drone and hold them aside. I won't need the drone if I get the uh, species serum, but if I don't, then I'll need the princess and the drone to make more drones so that I can get the serum. So this will continue to process, and there's the species serum, so that means I don't need the drone. Okay, so that means that we now need to get the esoteric bees, because we didn't actually get any more of those, and now we have esoteric bees plus mysterious bees equals the other. Now, just because I haven't showed it to you this time yet, we're going to do this. The dragon egg requires this, requires that, requires draconic bees. Draconic bees is ethereal plus abandoned. Abandoned is oblivion plus nameless. Nameless is ethereal plus oblivion. Ethereal is arcane plus supernatural. Okay, so we're trying to get to supernatural and arcane. Okay, so now we need to find where we're going to arcane. Arcane is esoteric plus mysterious. So we got the mysterious bee, but we didn't get the esoteric because we skipped past it during the process. So esoteric is cultivated plus eldritch. So we need to do another cultivated plus eldritch run in order to get this functional. Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff. Eldritch mysterious hybrid, but we don't need you because I've got all that. Good. Okay, so that means that all of these prints, all these drones can go because I don't need them right now. All right, well, at all. I hope I don't need them at all because I just threw them all in the trash. All right, so next thing. Gosh, I'm getting way ahead of myself at this point. So there's the charmed. What did I just breed those with? It was charmed, 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 charmed. Okay, so I bred the charmed to themselves for no reason. Okay, so now we need the Charmed plus Enchanted. So, and, oh, I'm sorry. Enchanted is Charmed plus Eldritch. So now we take our Charmed Princess. I'm making a horrible mess of this. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm really trying to do this really nicely. But apparently, you know, at the beginning of last episode, I said that this might not work out very well because I'm scatterbrained and trying to do three things at once is two things more than I should ever try to do at once. But we're, we're making progress. <laughs> Strangely enough, we are still making progress. Okay, so Charmed plus Eldritch equals Enchanted. So we're trying to get Enchanted. So we've got that part covered. How can it say it's nighttime? It is not nighttime. There is no nighttime. Thank you. I need to cut that down just a little bit because it's letting it get into nighttime. Well, I guess it has to go nighttime before it can actually cast the daytime spell, huh? Yeah, that's a thing. All right, let's see. Mysterious species, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to toss the high facility serum in here just because. 
I don't have it. I don't really need it, but I don't have it. Serious flowers, fullest humidity, humidity, humidity. Okay, good. All right, and we were charging up the Lapis Species Serum, and we're going to go ahead and purify the Lapis Species Serum. And in the Species Serums, we should have Mysterious. We do, so that means we don't need that one there. Whoops. All right, good. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm trying to do this this much so quick. All right, so now we have... Show me the money. 28, 29. Good. Okay. So now we have a Lapis Princess. And with the Lapis Princess, we need to put a Noble Drone. Yes. Nap, nap, bleh, nap, Napple plus Rabin and Regan, Ragan and Noble. Let's grab us a Noble B. No, 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 Noble. All right. So Noble plus Lapis equals Emerald. So let's see if we can't get us some Emerald Bs. All right, and that will be the end of that for now. There will be more to come from this later because there's more that can be done with them, but that's where we're going to stop for now. All right, so Eldritch and Charmed, we wound up with Eldritch Charmed, Eldritch Charmed, Eldritch Charmed, and Charm Charmed. I don't know how we wound up with a Charm. Oh, never mind. These are from the other one. Yeah, these are just solid Charmed. Wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, wow, that's a much nicer Charmed. All right, so Eldritch Charmed plus Eldritch Charmed. Y'all run together and give me some Enchanted Bees. All right, so what did I miss? That's right, we need to go Mysterious plus Esoteric to get Arcane. However, we didn't get the Esoteric. It skipped past it. So Eldritch plus Cultivated equals Esoteric. So let me see. I should have some cultivated princesses in here, I think. I have 17,000 drones. Uh, and the only thing we have is an ignoble stock. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Let's go up here. Where's your princess? I don't know, but I'm stealing yours. Hello, Lapis. Oh, dang it. I knew there was a problem with leaving her as a rock using bee. All right, so she's not producing because I forgot to put rocks next to her. So let's run over here real quick. Whoa, that's a lot further off than I remembered it being. All right, she needs rocks and I need to be a bat. But not for much longer. Here soon, we're going to deal with all the movement speed and and flying and all kinds of stuff we're going to get into when i get done with bees we're going to get into something else that's going to be cool and fun and whatever here have some rocks oh that's right i can't fly up there it's an elevator all righty are you happy now come back and check on her in a minute and in the meantime we're going to take this cultivated, toss her in there so she can become a princess again, and we're going to turn back into me. I was really hoping that I would get like a lot more bee breeding, bee breeding done faster than this, but it seems to be uh, not liking the idea. All right, you go away, and you... Eldritch, El Eldritch, Eldritch, Charmed, Charmed, Charmed Eldritch. All right, well, that one went right back in a circle, so we'll just do that again. And we will toss that one, that one, that one, and that one away, just because I don't care. And now we have a cultivated princess of pristine stock, and now we need... Eldritch Drone. And go. And how are you doing, my wonderful bees? Oh, very nice. We have a nice green bee. Ooh, a pure emerald bee. Straight off first breeding. You cannot argue that. You can, but you shouldn't. All right, so we'll toss those two back in. And we're going to need some more honey drops here in just a second. So let's grab us some of those. 
Alrighty, so yeah, for a double episode, we're actually making pretty good progress. We've already got Lapis running. We have uh, Emerald on the way. Let's, oh, that's done. Let's take a look at what we got. Nope, can't trialize them. We wound up with a Charmed Princess. I don't want Charmed, I want Esoteric. Y'all are horrible. And you went pure. Really? Oh, how am I going to do this? How annoying. Esoteric. I need Esoteric. I've got to have Esoteric. Um, let's see. Pure. You really gave me pure charmed. Okay, let me look something up real quick. Put this back up. Let us look up esoteric bees. Esoteric bees are cultures plus elevated, 10% chance. Okay, so cultivated plus eldritch. There must be more than a 10% chance for you to get charmed, or I'm just horribly unlucky. Uh, both of which are equally as possible. So that means that now I've got this badly. Um, I had to go pure charmed of all the things it could have done. How annoying. Lapis Noble, Lapis Noble, Lapis Noble, none of you matter. Just take one and go in there, and you go away. And you do not go anywhere. You're a pristine princess. I don't want you to go anywhere, but I'm really annoyed that I wound up with you. Let's see. I guess we can toss... No, it's not going to work. All right, let me see what kind of princesses I have. Okay, so available princesses. I really need to just like throw away anything that's not pristine because I really don't like the idea of doing anything else. How irritating. You know what? We're just not going to do that. We're going to go up here and we're going to steal another cultivated princess. Just because I'm annoyed and I don't need as many cultivateds running as I do. And in between episodes, I will reset this stuff and get it back working. Alright, so cultivated. And we're going to need some more eldritch. Cultivated plus eldritch. Go. Alrighty, Eldritch and Charmed is winding up yielding us Eldritch plus Charmed, Eldritch Charmed, and Charmed Eldritch, no doubt. Alright, so toss that one in, and that one in, and y'all have fun. And you know what? Urgh, I don't want to throw her away. I will force her to become something else that I want later. For now, she can just go in here, because otherwise I'm going to get irritated and throw her away anyway. Alrighty, what did we get? Humidity tolerance, none. Blah, blah, bunch of junk. What was I trying for anyways? Anybody remember? I don't. Alrighty. Now then, you go there. Give me that. Go away. Yep, I knew it was going to do that. Noble Noble, Lapis Noble, Emerald Noble. You go in there and take that one with you. And I will put the extra in here. Alright, let's go check on our trees. The bees aren't leading us anywhere. Let's see if we can get anything out of the trees. Oh yeah, very nice. Chances are several of these are either dead or on the verge of dead. There's a dead one. And there's a dead one. All right. That was not one of them. That was not one of them. That was something I don't know what that was. 
I saw it briefly and it didn't look like what I was looking for, but it didn't look like your standard failure. Whatever it was, it was interesting. Take a look at that in just a second. I know I saw one. Yep, there it is. All right, let's check our haul. Wild cherry sapling. Okay, that's what that one was. Up oh, there it is, our first common walnut. And that is all. Ooh, lemons. We got lemons. I like lemons. Lemons are cool. All right, so now here's the deal. Um, we're going to keep a couple of the ones that I want to keep and the rest I'm just going to throw away because I can always get more later. That's the good thing about grafters. If it says forestry on it, if you have enough to grow one tree, you will get all the saplings you could possibly need. So we managed to get one of the hill of the, uh, things. Look, in a spot. All right, so we managed to get one of the um, common walnut. Now, here's where I want to show you something. This is where the bee elizer actually comes in handy, or the tree elizer comes in handy. Okay, when you tree elize this, it says it's a common walnut, and that's wonderful. Uh, saplings is lower. As long as you have a grafter, you can ignore that. You'll get a sapling from every single piece of leaves. Now, if you chop it down, you have a lower chance of getting saplings than average. Okay, matures average okay that has to do with how fast the tree goes from a sapling to a full tree uh, the height is average so that's how tall the tree are girth is two by two okay this is where it matters girth is two by two that means that you can't just plant one of these saplings you have to plant four of these saplings okay you have to plant them in a two by two range for them to grow so plant one sapling it'll sit there forever and not do anything so you actually have to have four of the common walnut saplings to actually get anywhere. Okay. Uh, growth, it grows in light soil. It likes the plains soil or something similar to plains, in which case this is, the, this is correct. It tolerates plains. It supports nuts, prunes, and palms, and it has walnuts. Produces walnuts. Extra stuff, walnuts. It doesn't actually say a walnuts in the extra stuff. I just made that up. So we have one and we need four. So this is going to continue on. And uh, eventually we may run out of leaves to chop because they will all have you know, changed. And if we don't get what we want, then we'll have to plant new trees so that they can continue to do their thing as well. Alrighty, let's go back over here and take a look at this. Now that I've had a chance to clear my head, change back into human form. And we're gonna go back into this. Noble Noble, Noble Noble, Lapis Noble. We're really quickly heading in the wrong direction here. Pretty soon we're going to have Noble Noble, Noble Noble, Noble Noble, Noble Noble Noble. Alrighty, so we got Cultivated, Cultivated Eldritch, Cultivated Charmed, Cultivated Eldritch. Okay, so we're going to put the Cultivated Princess in with the Cultivated Eldritch Hybrid. And we're going to take this other one that has charmed in it and throw it in the nearest trash can because it's not doing what I want. Alrighty, so now we have a Eldritch Eldritch with a Charmed Eldritch and an Eldritch Charmed. We're going to go ahead and put this one and this one in there and the other one, well, let's hold on to the other one just in case it might be useful. I doubt it, but you know, we can always try to find out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Noble Noble again. Noble Noble again. Lapis Noble, yay. Okay, so at this point, we're going to take the Noble Princess. We're going to take these others, and we're going to throw them away. And we're just going to go get a fresh Lapis Prince, uh, lapis Drone and toss it in there. Oh, look, we already have our first uh, six. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's I got that from the earlier thing and stuff and whatever. 
You love the way I tell you how it is. This and stuff and whatever. That actually said Eldritch Esoteric. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so the Eldritch Esoteric plus the... Hell, it doesn't really matter, does it? Alright, so we need to continue doing this. And see, this is where it gets confusing. If you don't be careful about which bees you have in your inventory, you can very easily get them mixed up. And, eh, screw it, whatever, I'll throw you away. So, Eldritch Charmed, Eldritch Eldritch, and Eldritch Charmed. So, we're going to toss the Eldritch Charmed in with the Eldritch Charmed. And, again, we are still trying for Enchanted Bees. So, let me double check here and make sure that I'm not being a complete, total idiot. And look up Enchanted... Nope. Enchanted Bees. Enchanted Bees are made from Eldritch plus Charms with an 8%, but it doesn't require a special biome. And looking for a green bee. Alright, so let's see what we wind up with again. Oh! Oh! Look at what we got! Esoteric! Esoteric Eldritch. And Esoteric Eldritch, but still, that is a very nice step in the right direction. Let's toss those back in there. Um, let's see. Esoteric plus Eldritch is mysterious. Stop. I don't want that to... Arr, it's not going to make a difference. It still has a chance of doing it. Crap. I need pure esoteric. If it goes on to mysterious... If I wind up with a mysterious princess from this, I'm going to get kind of upset. Because that's what it happened to it last time, and I really don't want that. Not again, anyway. So let's see. Lapis, noble. Lapis, noble. Emerald Lapis. Alright, we're going to toss in these two, and we're going to take the Emerald Lapis and put it over here and hopefully get... Ah, that's what I was trying for earlier. I was trying for a Emerald Species Serum. Alrighty. I'll keep track, I promise. Up, oh, Enchanted. We were looking for Enchanted. Enchanted Eldritch, Charmed Eldritch, Charmed Charmed, Enchanted Princess goes with Charmed Eldritch, and they can run, and we're going to ditch your pure Charmed one, because I really don't like you. Eldritch, Eldritch, junk that, junk that, and junk that, and let's see what we got out of this one. We got Esoteric Bees, Esoteric Eldritch, Esoteric Eldritch, and Eldritch Eldritch. Let's just toss these back in here and hope for a pure B. And we'll toss this aside. All right, so we're already running over on the episode. I realize this. Uh, it's not my desire to run over on the episode, but I was kind of hoping we get a little bit further in this episode than we did previous, but that doesn't seem to be the way it wants to do. Lapis Noble, Lapis Noble, straight up Lapis, and go in the trash. All righty, so yeah. I guess that uh, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, breed these until I get the next desired effect. Uh, I'm going to keep going until I get the esoteric purebred. And I'm going to keep going until I get a uh, emerald purebred and an enchanted purebred. Once I have those three, I'll come back and we'll record some more. Uh, we should have plenty of trees to do by then, and we should be able to go ahead and continue advancing in our bees. So until next time, this is Jaronitis signing off on episode 74. Uh, like me if you like me. Subscribe if you want to see what craziness I get up to next. And uh, let me know if you like the new fast-paced version of bees. Uh, I'm having a hard time keeping up, but maybe you guys like watching me fumble over myself. Either way, help spread the gaming.